Yeah, Donald Trump is playing in the Pro-Am today he with is. Bryson DeChambeau and I believe Dustin Johnson. I, I don't know who's going to close out that. Is he a scratch golfer? Um, he is, right? I believe They're all good uh, golfers. I, I, think I know the other ones I know are. he's the greatest golfing president ever. Really? Athletic. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Hmm, I thought for a second we lived in North Korea. It's the greatest ever. Athletic. True God. Um, but anyway, uh, if look, we've occasionally wondered about the relationship between Fox and Friends and Trump. Are they starting to get a little bit of distance? Are they starting to move towards DeSantis? They might be prepping the way, but they are also very sensitive to his hissy fits. He had one recently because of some polls that they read. And so they're trying to lure him back in, in only the most shallow and guaranteed to work fashion. Just say that he's athletic, say that he's a great golfer. But I wanna I wanna actually dive into it. You know, it's a Friday, let's have some fun. How was he at golfing in that you know, Saudi back fundraiser, whatever thing that he was doing? Um, well, we have uh, some news from the scene. Trump's opening drive bounded into the left rough, but it was a respectable distance from the tee for a 76 year old, roughly 220 yards. Really fast, Brett. I am not a golfer. 220 yards, that is impressive, correct? Not really. I mean, no? it's fi- I hit the ball like 235, okay, like maybe You're 240. Not 70. <laughs> so, so the thing about Donald Trump is he's got one of those old man swings. Like I played a lot of golf. You're looking at a guy who's like number seven in the Mission League in high school. So I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he he can move his back still, and he can swing the club, and he hits the ball. In like, he's a good golfer, okay. Uh, okay, by all accounts, and he's 70 years old. Um, but yeah, and I hit it 230 and I'll play with people and they'll just freaking fly right by me. Like yeah. random like Timmy's will hit it past me. Like that it's happened more the short months. game that makes me the expert I am. Um, it is, and we're gonna but have in terms play of Trump at some point. No, so I wanna give you some more details before okay. we get your reaction. So overall, uh, the personality has to come through and it does in the same way as when hanging out with world leaders. Take a look at this. After hitting a second shot to the green, Trump ignored other players in his group who had yet to hit and jumped into his cart and roared ahead. He parked within a few feet of the putting surface. Apparently that's a no-no because it could damage the short grass in that area. Standing in the fairway half a hole behind Trump, Dustin Johnson yelled ahead since he had yet to play a second shot and could have beamed the former president near the green. In the future, I'm not great on uh, etiquette for golf, but don't feel like you have to give the warning. Anyway, he had also not finished a hole after his blast from a bunker failed to reach the green and was in some nasty rough. He had his caddy pick up the ball and march to the next tee. He was just done, he didn't play anymore. On another hole, when a birdie putt rolled nearly six feet past the hole, he scooped the ball up to end the hole, conceding himself a par, it was just up to him. At other times, a Trump miss hit would simply be ignored. As if understanding the drill, his caddy would retrieve the golf ball from the sand or deep rough and walk forward. It does sound fun to play that way. No consequences, like with the DOJ. That that sums up everything you need to know about the guy. And they tell you know if you play golf, they're like you know a lot about you'll you get to know someone very well by playing golf with them. Whether they mm-hmm. cheat, whether they hate themselves, whether they're relaxed, whether they can hang out and have a nice conversation, drink a few beers while you're playing. Yeah. Um, but Donald Trump, we didn't learn anything. We knew all this about him. He's a giant man baby who <laughs> uh, messes up. And whenever he when he hits a good shot, he pretends that's how he always plays. And when he hits a bad shot, he pretends it never happened. Yeah. And that's consistent with something I think everybody should go watch. There's a real time clip from like 2018 where Billy Bush says, yeah, Trump literally took me aside and said, just say whatever you want, they'll believe it. And that's what it comes down to on his scorecard, I, I guarantee you. President made a hole in one, 180 yard five iron. That's great. I don't buy it. Supposedly, Donald Trump got a hole in one. And I get, I've got Trump derangement syndrome or whatever. Um, I promised years ago to never, ever be fair to him. I don't buy it. I know it's random chance. You play enough golf, and this dude definitely does. Inevitably, it's gonna go in in one some point, Farron. But <laughs> do you buy it? Am I being unfair? Do you no. believe that he could have gotten that hole in one? Uh, uh, first of all, definitely not. I mean, look, like you said, the the law of averages. Eventually, it, it is bound to happen when you've teed off 
800,000 times in your life, yeah, one of them's gonna go in on the first try. Mm. But we've also had reports and granted they were stupid reports that should not have been in the news, but they were. Uh, in the early days of the Trump administration, people that used to know him said, "Oh, he cheats at golf all the time." Mm-hmm. So right away, it's like, yeah, I don't believe it. And then the fact that he actually had to put out a statement oh, saying yes. that it definitely happened tells me it definitely did not happen. Yeah, <laughs> like it's <laughs> nobody saw the ball in the air. It's just Trump walking up to it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, no, I just. I mean. Yeah, look, look, people are saying too in the chat, they're like, why wasn't the shot filmed? Well, to be fair, as Farron was saying, he plays like five rounds of golf a day. You can't film all of it, so let's let's be fair, I guess. Um, but Shiny has a theory. Lindsey Graham ran out of the bushes and threw a golf ball in there, kind of like the Simpsons episode where Smithers did that for Mr. Burns. <laughs> I can see that. It's not gonna get him back in his good graces. And look, we're gonna get into the statement in one sec, but I just wanna say, whether it's true or not, and maybe it is, I don't know, I don't especially care. Um, I just love that like he was the president, he was the most powerful individual human on earth. And he really cares about this. This dude loves golf more than I love board games. And he gets a hole in one and what does he get out of it? He has to put out a big statement to try to get people hyped. He (laughs) walks up all dopely to take it out. One or two a-hole businessmen that you know are no fun to be around are like, you love to see it. You don't (laughs) see that a lot. Your life sucks. 